the tricks and finds Giannis. Lopez for three. Finds Durant for three. Yes. So the next lead, 125, 123. Middleton is three point territory. Fires in and out. And the Mets hold on for the victory in a dramatic finish. Parkers. Guys, I'm confused. Is Kevin Durant coming back from an Achilles injury? Because I can't tell. Dropping 30 against the reigning MVP, the highest paid player, and that would be Giannis and the Bucks. The Nets won. Kyrie didn't play. Missed his uh, seventh straight game. Personal reason should be back Wednesday. Stephen A., what do you make of KD's return so far? How impressed are you? Kevin Durant is going to win league MVP honors. When this season is over, Kevin Durant is going to be crowned. <clears throat> Excuse me. Two awards. Mm. He's going to be named the league MVP, league's most valuable player, and he's going to be crowned the comeback player of the year. He's going to win two awards. Both of them are going to belong to him. You can book it. You can't put in – I try. I mean, you know, we're wordsmiths here. We're a bit loquacious. This is what we do for a living, but it's kind of difficult to put into words what we're witnessing transpire. Brooklyn Nets have won four straight, by the way. Um, Kevin Durant is averaging 30.6 points per game on 54% shooting from the field, 48% from three-point range, and 87% from the free throw line. And these are only his first 11 games back after an 18-month layoff. Looking fresh. From an Achilles tear. I'm going to repeat that. An eight. 18 month layoff after an Achilles tear. Mm. And the 30 that he's averaging ain't six months into the season. It's the first 11 games. It's unreal. This dude is just on another level. Kevin Durant is winning the league MVP because Brooklyn is going to be one of the top three seeds in the Eastern Conference. And whatever James Harden does, this is what uh, this is what's so incredible about Jay, uh, Kevin Durant. If Kevin Durant suddenly starts averaging less and shooting less from the field, he won't even be blamed. They'll look at Kyrie first. They'll be like, what the hell's going on here? I mean, and, and by the way, they'll look at Kyrie because initially you were looking at Harden, but it wasn't no problem because what has he been doing since Harden arrived in the first two games? So the minute Kyrie ultimately gets back, if KD, if KD is compromised in any way, folks are going to be looking at somebody other than him. He's winning league MVP and comeback player of the year. Do you remember uh, The Last Dragon with Bruce Leroy and Show Enough? Right. That's right. Show when they enough. got the glow? That's right. That's KD right now. He's got the glow. He's like, he's. I guys say, love that movie. Listen, yeah, listen, well, listen. When I say <laughs> who's the baddest, <laughs> who's the, you oh say my show God. enough. Oh, no. Yeah, that, that's yes. what he is right now. That's he steps right. on the Show court. Me. He's got a glow around yeah. him. It's unbelievable. Right. Like, those numbers, what were the 48%? 48% from three, 87% from the free throw line, 54% from the field, to averaging 30.6. To, yeah. to say nothing of his passing. Like, you know, KD's becoming that. Look, he, he's amazing. Oh, Matt, Here's one more thing. thing. Yeah. He's only averaging 19 shots a game. Yeah, right, he's doing super <laughs> 19 efficient. 19 shots again. He's unbelievable, off an Achilles. He, he's amazing. Um, thing about it is, James Harden rolled out of bed, as I said, looking like a hot mess, showed up fat, gave him a triple-double with 32. 30 points. 32. Yeah. 32 points in the triple-double. 32, 14, and 12. So he's got that old man YMCA game, you know, like uh, James Harden's James skills Harden's special. are uh, right. Special. So what happens is, look, LeBron and AD, we saw this last year. They both balled out of control. They split the vote, right? Neither one wins MVP, even though obviously one of them, LeBron, was the best player in the league. I think KD and Harden are going to split the vote. I also think that there's another guy, and look, MVP is usually one or two seed mm -hmm. in, e in either conference, right? Mm -hmm. So a top four seed mm -hmm. in the NBA. Mm -hmm. Usually it's that. But I'll say this. Luka Doncic is capable of averaging 30 with a triple-double mm -hmm. through, you know, through the course of a season. And if you saw Kristaps Porzingis last night play the second of back-to-back, -back, which he's not even supposed to do. Right. He, he's looking good already. And the Mavericks are under 500 right now because they're playing without half their team because of COVID protocol. Maxi Kleba and Finney Smith and all these guys. The Mavericks get hot. 
which I think they will. Porzingis stays healthy. I think Luka's going to get the MVP because it's not like Porzingis is going to peel away votes. Luka's got a shot. He's averaging 27-9-9. and nine. Let's not forget that. Luka's averaging 27-9-9, nine and nine, only shooting 28% from three-point range, 46% from the field, 75% for the, for the free throw line. But here's the bottom line. He ain't coming off an Achilles. KD is. James Harden has no shot at the league MVP. We all know he's phenomenal. We all know he's great. And I like him personally. And I think that, you know, people try to get on him and give him too bad of a rap when all he wanted to do was get out of Houston. But let me say this to you. Because of how he departed from Houston, because of how he departed from Houston and how he was looking at that time, those MVP votes will be held from him because they will be credited to Kevin point. Durant. The fact that Kevin Durant is with him has him looking better. Kevin Durant has this, the way he's playing right now, if he continues to play, he has this on lock uh, because of what he overcame and how he's playing in spite of it. Here's the thing about MVP. Really, there's, there's, there's an MVP of the finals. Dallas, there's, an the the there's an MVP of the finals. There's an MVP of the regular season. Right. But really, by the end of the finals, we know who the best player in the game was that year. Mm -hmm. Even if KD wins the MVP, it doesn't mean it. It doesn't really mean anything unless he can lead his team past LeBron's. Like, the question is, who's the best player in the world? That's a separate argument. But that's really what KD can prove this well, year. Well, that's a different category. But in terms of MVP being most valuable, when you consider what James Harden, where he came from, what he came to, the dysfunction that we, Kyrie Irving, the distraction, the fact that Kevin Durant is balling and they're winning games. By the way, if that continues, last, he ain't losing last no thing MVP about Luka, award. It's last his. thing about Luka, Luka's not really in shape yet. And he's already playing much better defense than he's ever played. And the Mavs are a good defensive no, no. He's team. A future Over MVP. the course of this season, no, no. let's see how he's it all global. shakes he's out. He's global. He's a future MVP. There is no all question. Right, let's we ain't getting it this year. I'm the close the deal. We're talking about Kevin Durant. Let me tell you something right now. I mean, are you 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 were worried, Max Kellerman? You hmm. never questioned the game of Kevin Durant. You never did that. You were never that sacrilegious. You were never that blasphemous. You were never that. You never committed such a, a heinous act. But you did bring in the question. You did act like you were the modern day orthopedic surgeon or something like that. I mean, you did act like one of those dudes. I mean, I've never seen anybody come back from this injury. I mean, you see that, Mount Molly? Yeah. You see that? It's Achilles tear. I mean, nobody's ever done it. And I said to you, Max. It ain't Dominique Wilkins, man, even though he came back from it pretty nicely at one we point. We threw out time. WNBA I mean, players his, for his, you his, that came his back. Athleticism, yeah. His athleticism. It ain't Russell Westbrook. It ain't somebody like that. We're talking about a sniper, an elite sniper, the likes of which this game has never seen. Molly, I will remind hmm. you that the leading scorer in NBA history ever is Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Yeah. And we once had a discussion years and years ago, long before you were on this show, Max, where we literally sat up there and said, this, this, this is the one dude that got a chance to catch he Kareem started so young. if he wanted to, if he wanted to be aggressive, if he wanted to jack up 25 to 30 shots a game. That's who KD is. And off of an Achilles tear, 18 months out of business, first 10, 11 games of the season, I said he could average 25 in the sleep. Remember, I said it right here. Book it. He's going to do 25. Oh, no, no, no. I was wrong. The Dropping 30, mm. 30 a game on better than 50% shooting, better than 40% shoot from three-point range. He's just that dude. And Harden, Harden, supposedly out of shape, supposedly a little bloated, even though he's going to be in shape really quickly. Okay, that dude, the one who's averaged 30 over the last three games, we forgot what a point guard he can be when he wants to be how he can be unselfish, how he's willing to pass the ball, how he's not willing to dribble the ball 12 times before taking a shot. We are seeing James Harden put on a show. Let me tell you something right now. This is the Eastern Conference. And no matter what anybody says, the East ain't the West. Even though it's a little stronger, it's not the West. Of course, Brooklyn could come to the finals. With the, I ain't say they can win the chip because the Lakers waiting for you with Anthony Davis and LeBron. So you might need Kyrie for that. But to get to the finals... They don't even need Kyrie. Kyrie could take the rest of the year off, and Brooklyn will go to the finals. You're wrong, but I need to start by saying what KD has done is amazing. That would make because right. it's not just 25. Oh, you said he could score 25 in his sleep, but it's his entire game. Mm -hmm. Kevin Durant, like for as much as you and others have said, well, he doesn't rely on athleticism. He's very athletic at his size. He like he looks the same which no one's ever really come back from that in the NBA, looking like the same guy before they left. <laughs> he looks the same to me. Amazing. So KD is KD. And James Harden. This dude looks like he rolled out of bed, 
shows up in Brooklyn looking like a hot mess, fat, out of shape, 30-point triple-double, those old man YMCA skills, unreal. you know, like it's unreal. So tip of the cap to both those guys, and they're playing well together. Here's the problem. This is why they need Kyrie. Dinwiddie gets hurt for the season. Mm -hmm. In order to get James Harden, they have to move Levert, who hopefully fit medically is okay because it turns out he's got you know, yeah, he got some issues. He's got some issues. And, and Allen, right? Those are three of their best six players before the Harden trade. Mm -hmm. Half the team really in the rotation is gone. They are going to need someone who can really play to fill those minutes. I like Jeff Green. I like DeAndre Jordan in, in spots. But Joe Harris, I don't think, is going to be enough. I like Joe Harris a lot. They need so another dynamic player on that team for the second unit. Someone, someone to take the load off of KD, who, by the way, is coming back from an Achilles. Like, given the lack of depth on this team, what, are you going to play Harden and KD 45 minutes a night each through the playoffs? That's tough. Yes, they beat a team that has continuity, where the freak dropped 34. Mm -hmm. That is built for the regular season at least, and they did it because they have two guys who can go get their own shot at the end of games. That is real. But over a long, grueling season mm -hmm. and then into the playoffs, mm -hmm. they're going to need someone to mm -hmm. take. By the way, Kyrie is a chemistry issue. Mm -hmm. I know it. They're going to need him. Well, first of all, you know not of which you speak. But I understand, Max Kellerman. I get it. I understand where you're coming from. I would tell you, I would remind you a couple of things. Number one, just for not, this is not about you. In the two games that James Harden is there, he's averaging 33, 13, oh, and 9. Yeah, it's unreal. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Here's the worst part. Fat. He's doing it fat. He's, he's only shooting 30% from threes. Yeah. He ain't even been shooting his percentage from threes. He shoot 48% from the field. He shoot 33, 30% from threes. He's averaging 33, 13, and 9 in the two games that he has been in Brooklyn. KD right now is at 30.6 on so 54% shooting, 48% from three-point range. Here's where you're missing the point. Defensively, they got to get their act together. Offensively, there's no issue. You know why? It's two reasons. Everybody and their mother knows it's about those three. And number two, your number one option is not only incredibly unselfish, he's incredibly efficient. So Kevin Durant is the type of dude, look, and this is what, if you really, really think back to when you marveled at Michael Jordan, it wasn't just his greatness as a scorer, Molly and Max, or anything mm -hmm. like that. It was the fact that Michael Jordan could sit back and go like this. Okay, y'all do what y'all got. Let me see what y'all got. Y'all do what y'all got to do. Literally don't shoot the ball for six, seven minutes, nine minutes or whatever, and then you're struggling. Okay, give me the ball. And then bam, 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 do three shots, three, three baskets, four baskets, five baskets, whatever it took. This is what Kevin Durant does. So he does not disrupt the chemistry. He only elevates it. The fact of the matter is because he's so...